the rule. Video query. You must do your query on video about your story we're going to submit, either for the magazine or for the anthology. The reason being is I had to deal with a bunch of players. I want you to talk about your story on video when you submit it. And when you do the query, you can do it as a guest blog. My Tumblr page, my Tumblr blog allows for video, guest video submissions. You can do a guest blog as long as on video. Why? Because I want you to talk about put your money thought in what you say. If you go on video, talk about what your story is. How can you play around something when you know you came up with something like that? And they call this the Joker Play to Resident Dark Place. That's why I wrote from January 1998. When I was living in Cape Island. Why would you go around Play to something that old? No one I wrote. You're a disrespectful little bastard who needs to realize. Playerism is not a right this business. It never was. Ever will be. If you go around doing that, making fun of someone's learning signals, on top of it, especially when you're a learning signal person wrote that story. They realize how much of a low life shit you are. You want a query? I have a video camera or webcam. Use that to talk on video here. And if you have a good video where it's speaking about your piece, go and tell how, when, how you got inspired by it, what story you read, what movie you watched, get you the idea, or a show. Think about that. That's how I got my ideas. Why am I writing? I can sit down and organize my thoughts when I have ADHD. When I'm video, it's unscripted. Because I want you to see what I'm like. When I have a hard time speaking, or sometimes more stuttering. I don't stutter, but sometimes I do skip a word too. I have a hard time reading myself like because I'm always skipping words. That's what I had, that's the problem I had since I was a kid. I had ADHD now for 20 years. As now this is 2015. All year I was working on this anthology. I'm not done yet. But with all the asshole like Brian Keene trying to staff us all like that, accusing me of stealing and all that respect. You have to realize that's almost a destruction of one's career. It's not going to happen, dude. Brian Keene, you have to accept the fit. I'm in this business. I'm here to stay. Especially with an author who passed away in Terry Burris's. No one has passing. You're going to go around. Fleecing something I created the ground up. Come on, Pete. Wake up, man. You're gonna lie to create space. You get a novel taken down because I had no email to send fucking thing. So, what, rule of thumb. Right for the listening rule. Public affairs, hell yeah. Private, private citizens, use names based on them. Not the real name. Use a last name that's their actual last name, but a fictional first name. That's like what I did with Pariah's Mind. If you're going to take a swipe at someone's mental illness or learning disability, and you're a private citizen, you lost that status, and you're basically a public figure, and you're going to basically be fodder for a bunch of horror authors, because you'll probably screw you the rest of your days. You want to query to something that you wrote. Come on, video say it. You know the lingo, North American rights, or report rights. If you're someone submitting and you put your work, my, your name in my work, I know it. Like the one that goes, Anita. Her last name is from male and it's a Gmail address. I caught her in that player as even I shit. I caught her. It's a version of a 2007 edition of the memoir. She stole the pirated version. The new version is 188 pages. Expanded and revised. With new pictures. I'm waiting for it to be uploaded right now. I'm waiting for the covers to be approved. And it's a process. It's a very complex cover. I work very complex covers. I'm very intricate. This is knowledge I'm working on. And it's not a project. I have new I have submissions waiting. People writing them right now. Some are done. Some are waiting to be finished or revised. All the time, lock in. So you have to stab a song like that. What's wrong with you, dude? I mean, if you're learning disabled, I understand. 
If you have been a student with VLP classes, I want you. And if you have been in a class where you had dyslexia, I will agree very closely. If you have problems trying to write something out, I'll help you. I mean, uh, if you have a certain thing, a certain scale around, I know how that disability works. You have the ability to hard time reading words. My stepfather was dyslexic. And I created a character that is dyslexic. And the fan art too. I can do characters or learn, have learning disabilities. I have learning disabilities. A lot of my characters, some of my characters are sealed. And I can do them very well developed. The wheelchair character, I hate writing because I know the backstory of some of these people in real life. They're horrifying. How they came that way. Sometimes if you're one person I used to work, I lived in a place I worked at. In April. How she got that way? Gang cross fire. She was wide awake the whole time. Because she had a bullet in her neck. She used to be a gymnast. Now she's paying for her mouth. Think about what I'm saying, guys. You want to make fun of people who are disabled. Especially if they're like, you know, what's wrong with you? If you're doing a query, be serious. If you write an author bio, you must be a professional bio. Come on, guys. If you've never written a work safe bio, I'll look over what you have. I'll do the bio for you. I won't make you look bad. But I'll show it in a way where you gotta be either work or school safe for your third person bio. Photos for this technology has to be work safe. Or school safe, depending on the case. Because if you're dealing with an only school system, they're gonna be on your ass. Or Kentucky, where they're trying to bring Bible study in a public school. I'm not going to force that, but I'm going to show something. What that's like with Ken Ham. He contributed to science and literacy in that part of the state. In that part of the United States. Answer Genesis tries to do a thing called evolution never happened. It happened to him. Come on. The world is 4.5 billion years old. And we came on this world 200,000 years ago. Sharks came, well, before dinosaurs. I can do research on this, look this up. But you want to curry on anthology. This is how you do it. Go video. You have a video camera? Buy one from Walmart, Kmart, about $100. And buy a memory card for about 30 bucks. And what you do is have, if you have a movie pro program, do some photo, photo in it, make it look cool. Maybe add some heavy metal music to it. The really surprising shit on me. Had some fun with this. Because I want this technology to be fun. A cool read. I want to be interactive with everybody as much as possible. Transparent. That's all I ask. This world is smaller in 2015 than it was in 2004. Or 1989. There's no room for me to fund disabilities.